if r equals zero and s equals zero, is r over s greater than s over r? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply in this inequality. And the reason I can do that and not worry is because I'm, it's guaranteed that both r and s are positive. If one of them were negative, I would have to reverse the inequality. But since I'm only multiplying by positive, the inequality stays the same way. So cross multiplying, we get r squared is less than s squared. And because we're both positive, we'll just take a square root and take the positive root. And so this reduces to the question, is s greater than r? And so really this, this very complicated question can be replaced with a much simpler question. Is s greater than r? Well, statement number one tells us that r over 3s equals 1 quarter. So I'm just going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3. So I get that r over s equals 3 over 4. They're in a ratio of 3 over 3 to 4. Well, this means, of course, that s is bigger. Well, if s is bigger, the statement is true. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now forget statement number one. Let's move to statement number two. Statement number two just tells us s equals r plus 4. Well, if I take r and I add 4, take a positive number, add 4, I get a bigger positive number. And so this also means that s is greater than r. So this statement also is sufficient. Both statements are sufficient. Answer choice D.